Hello, welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. Uh, this is changing the names that display on your character selection screen. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone or notify people who don't know that I'm having a contest right now. It's on my blog. The rules are here. It ends on June 12th in six days. Basically, just submit any mods you've made on characters, stages, uh, even an expansive sound mod, anything and send it to me on private message on YouTube with a download link. I'll check it out and you can win some uh, prizes. You can get on and get the mod that you made out there and really showcase your work. Uh, and as always, you can vote for the next tutorial on my blog. Anyway, into the business, what we're going to be doing is switching those names. And there's two files you need to have in order to do this. But this is where you need to assess where you are at in Brawl modding. If you have a custom character selection screen with custom, uh, <clears throat> with your own custom uh, CSPs and whatnot, and your own custom anything really, if you have, if your CSS is customized in any way, you will already have these two files. And if that is true, the common five and the SC cell character, then you will just edit those instead of downloading them. But if this is your first time, feel free to download these and this will be your starting point for all future mods. These will be in the description, of course, and so will the link be to the huge contest. It's not that huge. <laughs> anyway, once you've got these downloaded, very simple what you need to do. You can actually just plop those without editing them because we'll just edit them from the SD card for ease of me because I have a custom character selection screen. And so I will be editing those. But it's the same steps. Just go to we app RSBE uh, PF. Miss click. <laughs> and system, make that folder if you don't have it. And add common five, no underscore en, and just copy that into here. Once that's done, you can uh, go back to PF and go to menu two and add the SC underscore cell character dot pack. Again, remove the underscore EN. With these two files open, we're going to be editing SC underscore cell character first. So double click on that or open it with Rawbox in your preferred method. Uh, just for your reference, the care burst text is where your CSPs are stored. So if you want to edit that, you can, but for this per this tutorial, we're going to be doing miscellaneous data 30. Open that up, go to textures, click on something and hold down the down button to go there faster. And as you can see, these are the names that show up when you select them on the character selection screen. Mine are different because I'm using a custom character selection one, but yours will be very basic and say Mario, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Samus. For this tutorial, we're going to be editing Mario. So when you're over that, right click, export, Export it to somewhere where you can find it, like your desktop, and save it there. You should see it pop up. With this done, minimize this and minimize that. Uh, open this with Photoshop or anything that can save and open .png files. In Photoshop or your thing, just make zoom in so you can edit this easily. And this is black pure black and this is pure white. So there's no little bit off colors or anything. You can just deal in these standard black and whites. And with the selected, you can just erase everything. Probably be faster to make this bigger. Once this is pure black, you can make this smaller again. Okay, so once it's all black, you just switch to white. And if you're using a different uh, paint type program or whatever, this will be fairly easy for you. Uh, eight pixels, a little bit too big. Maybe five is the perfect size. Okay. So just write Mario or anything you want. If you can fit uh, Thunderstorm Mario or any kind of Mario mod that you have, good for you. Just nice and slow. Make an M. I'm going to do an A like this so you can tell that it's a custom thing and make my R really crooked like that. And my I will actually go all the way to the end. I'll 
have an O on top. So Mario. It's perfect. It's original. I like it. Whatever. <laughs> File save to desktop. Save it. Overwrite it. Make sure to save as, because that way you'll get all those extra properties. If you just save, it will kind of, it sometimes won't work with RAW. Minimize Photoshop or your photo editing software. Open up your minimized brawl box and right click replace that Mario texture. Uh, choose the Mario texture that we just made. Make sure it looks right. Or we pick. And you can see custom looks unprofessional, but we can tell that it is in fact custom. So go file, save as, and nav save it to your desktop. That'll be the easiest. Uh, new Mario. It will compress because there's a lot of textures. We'll pop up here. And the great thing about uh, doing this is now we just see, copy it over, right click on it, rename it to what it is. Go PF, system, open up your common five that you downloaded or that you already have. And the great thing is, look, SC select character underscore EN. Well, this is great. All we have to do is right click on this, replace, and choose our new Mario 1. Ta da! If we go in here, textures, go down. Mario, hey, we made that. That's perfect. Don't need to make any new changes, just need to copy that over. So file save as onto your desktop. New Mario. This one saves a lot faster. Copy it into here. Copy this over here. Delete it. And rename this to common5.pack. With this done, it's already in your SD card because we were operating out of it. And you can just plug this into Brawl, and when you go, into the character selection screen, you will see your custom names. Hope you had a lot of fun. Check out the demo. And just remember to use your pre-existing ones if you have a custom CSS and download them if you don't. Make sure to check out my blog to vote on the next tutorial. Uh, get into that contest. It'll be a lot of fun. If you already have one, a mod made, you can just submit that. And yeah, thanks a lot.